Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Fresh Goon. Today I'm bringing you guys a guide on how to get all the torches available in Elden Ring. Along with the movesets for them. So if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and let's start. So, we're going to start with the original torch. Just a basic torch on how to get it. So, I'm going to show you guys on the map. You're going to go to the Church of LA and you're going to go to Merchant Kale. Right here from the first step, you're just going to go up and go inside here. You're going to see Santa Claus. And Santa Claus is the one that sells the first torch. All you're going to do is go in his shop, buy the torch for 200 And there you go. You have the first torch of the, of the game. All right, guys. So real quick, I wanted to show you something about these, this torch. It's just the original torch, but it does have an Ash of War called Torch Attack. I don't know why it's not displaying. There you go. It says Torch Attack. While in the left hand, you can also light the way with the torch and hold it up. Uh... The torch attack is just a thrust attack that sets sets them on fire. And if you have it in the right hand, it's just the same thing. It's just a thrust attack, but it doesn't light up. But the torches are are, are better in the left hand just because you can hold them up. Because if I had it in my right hand, as I'll show you, I will not be able to hold the torch up. All right, guys. So for the second torch, you're going to be looking at the beast repellent torch. You're going to find it here on the isolated merchant shack. It's going to be right here in Dragon's Barrow and Kaled. Gonna, so right, right here. You're going to go up this hill from the Dragon Barrow West. You're going to follow this road and go up here. There's going to be like three or four dogs over here. You can either run past them, hit the grace, or you can kill them and get up here. So just follow this road and you'll get up to here. And you're going to be looking at this isolated merchant. He's going to be selling. He's going to be selling the beast repellent torch. That's what we're going to be looking at. You're going to buy that from him. So this torch has the same thing, same Ash Awards, the torch attack. It just looks a little darker. So with this torch, there's something unique about it. So this is the torch that you see everybody use against the dogs. All right. The beast repellent torch. Now this torch only works on the normal eyed dogs. There are red eyed dogs and it does not work on them. And this is the beast repellent torch. Now, if I equip my normal torch, it does not work. It does not uh, block them. But if I use this one, they get scared and they back away. So all those videos you see are using the beast repellent torch. Do not try to use their normal torch against them. All right. So for the third torch, you're going to be looking at the steel wire torch. It's going to be found in Castle Morn. So if you look at your map, it's going to be all the way to the south, Castle Morn. All right, you're going to start at Castle Morn Lift. I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go. All right, so to get this torch, you're going to either want to do a lot of running or just a lot. You can just kill everything in your way. So I'm just going to show you guys where to go. You're going to run past all these enemies. Go behind here. Go through this door over here. And to my left, in that chest right there is a claymore. You're going to go down here. You're going to climb this ladder. They're going to be distracted by killing that. You're going to see a bunch of enemies fighting. You're going to ignore them. Just run straight to your left. And down here is where the steel wire torch will be. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate you guys the steel wire torch. It has a different Ash of War. So the, this Ash of War is called Fire Breather. So where you see people breathe in the fire, that's this, this specific torch. Let me know if you guys want to see if it scales in the comments down below and I'll make a video seeing if it scales. I'll level up the torch all, almost all the way to level 24. On to the next torch. All right, guys. So for the fourth torch, we're going to be looking at the Sensories torch. You're going to find that from the Hermit Merchant in his shack right here in Langdale Capital. Or the outskirts, should I say? Right exactly here. I'll zoom out. I'll zoom in right here. You're going to follow this path. So this is after I burnt the ur ur tree. So I followed this whole path up here, walked all up here, and just walked right there. All right. 
So you're going to go to the merchant. He's going to be selling a torch for 7,000. Now, the thing with this torch is it scales with, uh, it says it scales with faith and it has holy damage. So that's unique. I wonder how much damage it actually does. But so the unique thing about this is it'll reveal, it will reveal invisible enemies. I don't have any invisible enemies, but there's a specific area in the snow fields that I know has a lot of invisible enemies or Dina. When you go there and you have to light the three torches, there's invisible assassins. So with this torch, you'd be able to see them and be able to kill them easily. Now with this torch, you don't, you don't have to have it in your hands. You could dual wield your weapon and it'll put it on your back and it'll still reveal the enemies or unless that was a bug. But like I said, I don't have any invisible enemies right now, but, uh, that's what this torch is unique for and it does and it scales with faith all right guys so for the fifth torch we're gonna be looking at the ghost flame torch where it's going to be located in nakron city all right we're going to start at fort hate west so we're going to have to make our way down the crater the crater spawns after you kill rot radan and um it's at the, almost at the very beginning of the crater so if you mess up you have to start all over jumping down this whole thing so i'm going to fast forward the video until we get to the point where i All right, so right from the beginning, you're going to see to your right on that building top, you're going to see the glowing item. That is actually the torch. And if you mess up this jump, you have to start all over from the beginning. So you have to land on that tower right there. And the easiest way would be to jump from on top of this. And just jump right over. So if you fall down there, you have to start all over because there's no other way to get back up. So you jump across, jump up, jump up, jump back across, and there you are. That's the ghost flame torch. And this one actually causes frost buildup, and it scales with magic. So it scales with intellect as well. So it has the same Ash of War. It's called Torch Attack, but it does frost damage as opposed to fire damage like the other ones. So let's test it out on this thing. It only does 90 damage. My katana does one shots them. But I'm also not skilled for intellect and it's not a leveled up torch. So like I said before, if you guys want to see me level up the torches, just let me know. I'll make a whole video doing that. But this is the ghost flame torch. I like the way this torch looks as opposed to the other ones. I just like how they have so many unique torches. Kind of looks like a skull opening. All right. So for the final torch, you're going to want to be in the consecrated snow fields on the upper portion of the map. I'll show you exactly where. So you're going to be wanting to going in this, this vicinity right here where my marker is around these areas. And uh, there's going to be a caravan you're going to be looking for. It's going to have two giants and a bunch of guys surrounding it. There's going to be a caravan. On the back of that caravan is going to be the final torch here, which is the St. Trina's torch. And this one scales with faith again, but it causes it causes sleep buildup with this one. This one, I have no magic. So this one has the Ash of War Fires of Slumber. So it's kind of like the other one with the, the fire, but this one causes uh sleep, sleep buildup. So I wonder how this one scales and if this one does well in PVP. Like I said before, if you guys want to see a video of me doing that, uh, just let me know and I'll do a whole video of me leveling them up. So I'll show you exactly how to get here from this, this grace over here. You could also go to this grace right here. It's a lot easier. So you're just going to want to be in this general area. This caravan does move. So you want to make sure you find it and then eliminate the enemies and grab yourself the torch. So now basically from here, you're going to go exactly southeast or southeast, east-ish. 
and you're just going to go straight until you run into that caravan sometimes it's not in that exact area where i showed you on the map sometimes it's not like exactly right here it might be a little further it might be a little back you're just gonna have to look for it yourselves and uh find it there i'm gonna speed up the video and show you guys exactly where All right, so here's the caravan that'll be roaming around. And like I said, it's in this in this area right here on the consecrated snowfields. You're going to want to kill everything around it in order for you to get the chest in the back, which contains the which contains the St. Trina's torch. Well, all right, guys, so that was all six torches in Elden Ring. I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed the video and ho hopefully it was helpful for you guys to get all these torches. Like I said, I kind of want to see what these two do in PvP, these two torches right here. And if I could do anything with him, maybe on the offhand or something. Maybe get somebody like that. But uh, if you guys really enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Well, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, thank you. Have a good one. Bye.